My name is Matt Herman. Uh, I'm owner of Herman Ag Services located in Mount Carmel, Illinois. Specializing in drone aerial technology is a new fathom, I guess, in the ag industry. Several growers are starting to get their own. A lot of companies are investing in them. Behind me is the DJI Agris T40. It's capable with my current setup, 35 to 40 acres an hour. Uh, fungicide applications, uh, insecticide applications, foliar fertilizer applications. It also has a spreader box, so we can do things such as dry fertilizers, top dressing corn or soybeans, as well as cover crops. I've even dabbled around a little bit with spreading some soybeans beans uh, and actually have been successful with uh, with completing a very nice uh, uniform stand with soybean spreading. Drone technology such as the drone behind me it's all an automated system once you punch in the parameters to your field it will autonomously fly the entire route based off of GPS so the precision of application is superior compared to other application methods. Secondly the rate control is near perfect on, on every instance whether it's two gallons to the acre or three gallons to the acre. Uh, and it allows you to apply during more adverse conditions such as wet soils, early in the spring, uh, things like that where it's, the soil is not quite ready for a ground rig to be able to go out there uh, and, and do a good job without damaging your soil health. So there's a lot of different benefits to it. It's just a matter of what fits best for your operation. The fungicide application on soybeans at uh, R1 to R3 and corn at tassel time uh, has proven many years with third-party data. Uh, I like to think of it as protecting the yield potential that's already out there rather than increasing yield from what you've already got to allow for a for disease-free rest of the summer and a timely harvest. So looking at management decisions, um, I, I would say that it's, it's needed to be considering a fungicide application during the winter months, uh, typically when you're prepaying for your seed, your chemical, and your fertilizers. Uh, some of these fungicides can be in tight supply uh, if, if you decide you want them in season. So I think it's best to make those management decisions early on and have it as a planned pass in your program in order to maximize ROI. Uh, I feel like we're on that breaking point of them being everywhere, but yet they're still new enough that people are kind of nervous on making that investment. This drone behind me, um, they're $40,000. So it is a very large investment to, to make that. So it's not easy. The FAA paperwork portion is quite strenuous. However, it has to be due to the liability precautions that are involved with this uh, and other manned aircraft in the area. I think it's just very important to do your research, uh, ask local co-ops, ask local growers that have these. You're welcome to ask myself. Uh, a good resource is illisoyadvisor.com. Uh, there, there's a couple publications on there about aerial drone applications. A lot of people are interested. We're kind of at that transition point right now where it's hard to hard to make that investment, but at the same time, the, the guys that have, there's too much work for us to get done, really. So I look for them to be more popular in the future. However, depending on how the regulations and things go, that, that may slow some people down. But uh, I'm, I'm happy to work with growers and, and see what happens.